So why do high-profile women stay with their cheating husbands? We'll bring in relationships expert Trudy Gilbert. Morning to you, Trudy. Good morning, Lisa. Really humiliating stuff when it happens that publicly, particularly for the woman, and a very tough decision because everybody's waiting to see, will she stay or will she go? Sure. And look, um, that's a really interesting point because I think a lot of the time people don't realise that it's quite difficult to push aside your emotions of hurt and betrayal. And for these women, um, maybe there's a greater good that they're, that they're aiming for. So, for example, in the Clintons' case, it's, it's Hillary's political ambition. Mm. Um, there's a general concern senses that she stayed in that relationship um, for her own benefit. Uh, and you might look at, uh, at other high profile celebrities like um, Sonny Bill and his girlfriend Gemma Shaw. Uh, she stayed with him despite his indiscretion um, in a, uh, a bathroom cubicle um, because she may enjoy uh, the prestige that comes with being a girlfriend of a, of a high profile uh, rugby league player. Is it, is it good in those situations to just be completely honest? I mean we, we all look back now at uh, pictures like um, Bill Clinton and Hillary and you know look at whether or not Hillary was wise to stay with you. I remember there was a there's a couple of fantastic quotes from the time but she said um, he's a tough dog to keep on the porch <laughs> and, as, as he's turned out to be so that puts an extra pressure on them doesn't it we're, we're looking um, obviously at pictures of them now yes uh, I mean look absolutely it does I think it's important that that uh, you are honest and uh, and and if that if that does come up it's something that needs to be dealt with I mean what's really important to look at too is that in a relationship um, that has an affair it's it's time to recognize whether that relationship is over or you're going to make the effort to piece it back together again. So it's a time where you have to be totally honest with yourself and with your partner. Once a cheater, always a cheater? Uh, well, that tends to be the, 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 common, the common saying, um, but, uh, but it depends. I mean, there are a number of reasons why we cheat. So uh, it might be time to reevaluate your relationship and, and take it as a wake-up call to think, well, you know, what are the factors that have contributed to this? So maybe that's important to, to take note of as well. Let's have a look at a, a couple more of the celebrities who over the years we've, we've watched their relationships. Bill and Hazel Hawke, I, of course that, that story continues to unfold. Sure, uh, I mean look this is a, is a unique situation. I mean Bob and Hazel were, were, were married for years and then, um, and then he met Blanche who um, we all know uh, Bob is a very intelligent uh, man. He's a Rhodes Scholar and, and maybe Blanche was just more a meeting of the minds. Yeah. Um, Simone and Shane Warne, I mean she she may have taken him back for the sake of the children um, because she has three young children. Maybe she thought, well, I really want them to have a father figure. I mean, it was very difficult for her after his very public displays of philandering to, uh, you know, to deal with that. And so often they turn into soap operas because we kind of love the unfolding story as absolutely, well. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Okay, Trudy, it is fascinating watching from the sidelines. It's a bit different if it, if it happens to us, though. Most definitely. Okay, Trudy, thanks very much for your time Thank this you. morning.